what's going on guys welcome back to another video so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to create this horizontal scrolling test also known as the new sticker in final catch pro and make sure you stick to the very end to get one powerful tip when it comes to using the new sticker in final catch pro let's get started so Final Cut Pro comes with its own built-in effect. All you have to do is go to the left side of the software, click on title and generator sidebar, scroll down to build in and out and select sticker, drag and drop on your timeline. So right away, you can see it comes with information test. Then go to your right side of the software. That's where you have the parameters to play around with. So with the test, we just delete that and we have to paste our own test. Let's go to the website, copy from a new site. So let's select this command C to copy, command V to paste it. And let me show you guys one trick when it comes to the test in Final Cut Pro. As you can see, it ends right at Thursday and the rest of the test is not showing. That's one thing about Final Cut Pro. For it to show, all you have to do is make sure you don't have paragraphs in between the test. So with this, we'll just break the paragraphs. And then you can see Final Cut Pro is able to identify the rest of the test. The next one is the bar color. You can change the bar color to any color you want. Let's go back to default settings, command Z. And the scroll rate, that's the speed of the test that's gonna scroll on your screen. When I increase that, let me increase it to somewhere 2.5 and play for you guys to see the speed. You can see it goes really fast. Now let me decrease it back to one and play and show you guys. You can see it goes slow. So if you really wanna reduce the speed, then you have to go below one. And if you wanna increase it, then you can go above one. But I feel like one is a sweet spot for this very effect. If you don't want the background, you can just take this and it's gonna go away. If you want it, you can take it and it's gonna show right back. So now let's say for instance, if you want this bar to be a little bit short and you don't like how big it looks like, with this very effect, that comes with Final Cut Pro. You don't have much parameters to play around it. But for those of you who have Apple Motion, all you have to do is right click on that, open a copy in Motion, add your parameters that you wanted to show and save it and later on open in Final Cut Pro. But to save you guys much time, I've gone through that process, done that already and added more parameters for you guys. If you want that, you can go in the link in the description box below and when you download that, you'll find it under titles. So with that, you just drag and drop it on your timeline. Let me delete the one that comes with Final Cut Pro. And when you go to the right side, you can see I added more parameters for you guys, making your life very easy. So I'll walk you guys through very fast with this. With the overall position, let's say if you really want to place it at the top, of the screen, you can use the overall position to do that. With the scroll rate, just like the one that comes with Final Cut Pro, if you wanna increase the speed, you can just increase the rate here. Background, just like the one that comes with the Final Cut Pro, you can just take that and it's gonna disappear. With the test, let's paste a test right here and don't forget to break the paragraphs in between tests. You go to font, if you want to change the font style, you can just change it right on this side. And also with the size, you can change the size of the test on this side too. Opacity, if you want to dial down the opacity of the test, you can do it using the opacity. And the position, you can change the position of the test too. Now with the color of the test, if you want to change the color of the test, you can change it right here too. And the outline color, if you want to change the outline color, you can just change it right on this side too. Command Z to go back to the default setting. Outline width, if you don't want the width to be a little bit big, you can just dial it back a little. If you want it to be big, then you can go up with this. Outline opacity, if you don't want the outline to show at all, then you can dial the opacity down and it's gonna disappear. Bar color, if you wanna change the bar color itself, you can do it right on this side too. And also with the opacity, if you can dial it down a little bit or you can just dial it to really remove it from the background. If you wanna increase the bar size, you can do it right on this side too. And also with the bar position, you can change the position using the Y and the X axis too. So now if you wanna have this loop effect when it comes to this scrolling test, all you have to do is click on that, press option, drag and make a duplicate of that. And with that, you're gonna have that scrolling loop effect. 
when it ends the next one is going to start right over those of you who've made it to this far there's one powerful tip when it comes to scrolling test in final cut pro for you to have a smooth scrolling test effect you have to edit in 60 frames per second time frame on the screen on your far left i edited on 24 frames per second timeline and right in the middle i edited on 30 frames per second timeline and on your far right i edited on 60 frames per second timeline and you can see the difference it's really big i have no idea why it works that way maybe in the future apple will be able to solve that with the updates you will be getting from final cut pro now if you want to see more about final cut pro you can click on that Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.